In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Today we celebrate this great feast of St. Jer uh, Jerome, a great doctor of the church. He was the uh, leading scripture scholar. He spent 40 years in the desert studying uh, uh, the scriptures, and uh, he knew them very well. He made, was commissioned by the Pope to make a, a, a translation into Latin, and he knew the ancient languages. Uh, he was fluent in all the different languages, and so he, he did translate it then into Latin, and that was the uh, official uh, Bible of the church, the official translation of the scriptures, uh, up until uh, the Second Vatican Council. And, uh, that was uh, the one you had to refer to for debates, uh, for discussions, uh, it had to be always out of um, that one. It's called the Vulgate Edition. Vulgate just means the common uh, edition. We have the word vulgar, it comes from the same uh, same root meaning, it just means something that's very common or ordinary. And that was the common translation uh, of the scriptures into Latin, and St. Jerome is the one uh, who did uh, did do that. And so he did it, he did it uh, very well. And today uh, we, we have uh, the, the Protestants uh, developed this uh, a criticism of scripture, to criticize it. And then, of course, the modernists uh, jumped on that bandwagon and wanted to uh, criticize scripture too and question it and ultimately to destroy any meaning in it at all. So they, they take modern criticism, biblical criticism, and they, they look at the scripture and they compare it with uh, uh, the world that we know, the world that we live in, and they say, well, this is a myth, or this is just a story, or, or this could not have happened. You know, nobody walks on water, so uh, it's certain that that's impossible. So our Lord didn't walk on water either, or nobody raises the dead, so he really didn't raise anybody from the dead. These are just pious stories and myths and all this. And, and that's what they, they do, and they destroy the whole meaning of, of, uh, of the scriptures and try to make it uh, just a, another common book that the people can... Uh, criticize. Some of the saints would not read the scriptures unless they were kneeling down. They said that we have to reverence this book and reverence every word in it and uh, honor it. And this is uh, very true. We have to accept every word in it. And if we don't understand it, because some things are hard to understand. St. Peter even says this in the scriptures. It says some things that St. Paul writes are hard to understand. And uh, he says that, and, and so they are, and so we don't want to get confused and try to interpret them our own way and fall into heresy. So we have to uh, listen to what the church tells us and what the church teaches us about the scriptures. But uh, today, and it's in the epistle that was for the Mass today, the epistle of St. Timothy, uh, St. Paul says, well, in, in later time, people will have itching ears, itching ears, and they'll turn away from the truth and turn to fables and believe in fables and uh, believe in things that are just total uh, nonsense. And this is uh, what we have today. He prophesied for our time because today nobody believes in the truth. They believe anything, uh, any lie that comes along. They, they often believe that and they've been deceived. They're, they allow themselves to be deceived and they want to be deceived uh, by uh, the corruption in, in the world. So this is our time, so we have to ask uh, 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 our Lord that we will not have these itching ears going to look out for something new to hear or something new to read or something new new video to see and, uh, and come up with some new conclusion and uh, fall into error. But we want to stay with the truth and stay always with the constant teaching uh, of the church on all things. And if we want to study, we should study it's good to study the scriptures, but we should study all the writings uh, from the saints and stuff like that, and things like that. So what the church does teach, rather than uh, looking for new things and for uh, novelties and uh, things that are not uh, true. But, uh, so St. Jerome was a great doctor of the church, and uh, undoubtedly he was inspired by the Holy Ghost and, uh, and did uh, uh, produce... Uh, a, a good scripture and they've been criticizing it for a long time and denying it for a long time and saying well it doesn't match the Greek and the Greek is different and uh, uh, we have to go to the Greek uh, but this is also an error uh, the, the, the Latin is the one the church guarantees is correct and the Greeks uh, translations are not guaranteed and they're, uh, and they're just translations to what we have today anyway we don't have the originals so we only have 
uh, Greek translations, and there are errors in them. And uh, we can't go back to the Greek and say, well, uh, St. Jerome got it wrong. That's what one priest told me one time. He said, well, St. Jerome got it wrong. Uh, uh, well, here, here, and there, because it's different from the Greek. And uh, he's wrong. The Greek is the Greek is an error, and not Saint Jerome, because uh, we're guaranteed by the Church that uh, Saint Jerome's translation is without error. And this is where we have to stand by this guarantee, and we have to defend uh, the Scripture the way he wrote them, and say what is in there is true. It is true what is in there, and uh, unless it's obviously uh, a, a fable. Like when they say, the trees clap their hands. Well, that's a anthropomorphism. We're trying to make the trees into uh, like, like people. So that's, uh, I mean, you can't imagine that the trees had hands to clap. So, uh, uh, but, uh, but otherwise, we, we take everything as it is, and we say, yes, uh, this is what really did happen, and we do believe that this is uh, uh, true. And this is what was said, or this is what the angel said when he came, if an angel came. And so we have to uh, uh, follow them and say when Angel Gabriel said to Holy Mary, Hail, full of grace, well then uh, indeed it was true that she was full of grace and, uh, and that she had found favor with God and that she was uh, blessed among women. Uh, so these things are all true and we cannot deny them like the modernists want to deny them and want, want to lead people to believe other truths and uh, other errors. And so let's ask St. Jerome, pray to St. Jerome today that we may not have these itching ears and that we may always be uh, content to submit ourselves to what the church does teach. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost.